Hello there and welcome to another Flash Review Didn't Fun and today we're bringing you the new superhero series called Radiant Black a blend of Invincible with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that's how it's presented and it uh, sh and it, it it's it's true uh, I've read it and I, I can say it's 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 true the the uniform is quite a ripoff of, of the Power Rangers uniform and the story does remind the beginning uh, of the Invincible series so uh, we have a lot of names here Higgins, Costa, Carrie Carrie is a co-writer, Higgins is the writer, the main writer, Costa is the main artist then we have some guests for coloring and etc so there's a lot of people working on this book uh, it's it came it came out from Image Comics, right? I'm not saying anything. Yeah, Image Comics, uh, and it came out at least the volume one. Let me see if it's 2020 or 2021. I think it should be 21. Yeah, August 2021. So uh, it's called the Not So Secret Origin, the volume one. Uh, so uh, that's the resemblance, the biggest resemblance you get to Invincible. So uh, a normal guy is about to get uh, his powers in a very strange and unexpected way, just like Invincible uh, uh, character gets to understand that he has superpowers. So this this is similar. So a small little black hole appears to two guys. And when of the, one of them touches it, and when he touches it, it gets transformed into a, something like a Power Ranger. You see the, the resemblance, right? Uh, but he doesn't know uh, what he has gained, what powers he has gained. He will understand it by instinctively uh, reacting to some dangerous situation, and he will find that he can control gravity but he didn't quite understand how he did it so his fellow will help him uh, try to discover what how to control his powers and etc and control the uniform uh, because he doesn't even know how to get out of it but soon in the story we see another character with a different color but said the same uniform and is just robbing a bank so uh, yeah, we get to know that is not a unique case, he is a special case, yeah, but not unique. Uh, then the other part of the story, the drama-like part of the story, is the fact that this guy uh, that has been blessed by, this, by these new abilities and these new powers is actually a failed writer who has to return to his, to his parents' home because he's bankrupt. Uh, and he has no way, no means of survival. He never got to finish his romance. We we end, we end, up, end up understanding that he was never even close to doing it. So he's a frustrated guy, uh, 30-ish uh, frustrated adult with no good perspectives uh, on life. Uh, yeah, but then eventually, uh, as he tries to figure out his powers and etc. and what to do with it, with them, uh, is not still thinking of them as a way to earn money, but his colleague says, if it was me, I would be earning some big bucks with those powers you've got. So what he does is he tries to find the other uh, character that looks like him uh, in. Uh, trying to get some information from him and say, oh, okay, yeah, please tell me what these powers are, what can we do? Uh, but things don't go very well because the reception is not very good, so there's a fight, an ugly fight. But it gets to, to end the thing with a good deed that makes him feel good, but no money. This is an excerpt of the story he's trying to, to write, he won't you won't write much more than this. 
though we will try, but it's just a blinking cursor, he can't get forward with the story. Um, so he kind of gives up, he's got his day for writing and goes back to his colleague and etc. Uh, and he's searching, is in, in, in its way he's helping people with small deeds. Uh, he gets uh, noticed on social media and etc. But he's not really gaining anything special from having the, his powers. He's still, he still has this problem of uh, writer's block. Uh, but he, he, here you see him training with, uh, with his colleague, trying to master his power blasts and things like that. And then the red Power Ranger, let's call it like that, or the Red Radiant uh, appears again, and there's another fight, and etc. Uh, and then you'll understand that uh, just like uh, the Green Lanterns, there seems to be a core, a core of uh, of Radiant, uh, and there's a some kind of entity that talks to him when you see these pages colored like this. Uh, it's some kind of inner dialogue of some entity trying to talk with it. There's also uh, there's a, a language that is um, that is depicted here at the end of the book. I think it's the very last page. Yeah, you've got the alphabet here for that alien language because this seems to be an alien force at hand. But at the end of the book, you get the story of uh, another Radiant character. That's where it starts here. So we get away from the Radiant Black. Uh, in fact, it's blue, but the name they got was Radiant Black. And we get to see the story of one of the other Radiants. And we get introduced to other two Radiants and those seem to know a little bit more of what Menace is about to come and why they have been given those powers to stop it uh, and that will be the plot. There will be a super villain that will try to destroy, that is, is coming to destroy the, the Earth and they have to fight it. Uh, and that's not and there's not much more in the first volume. It's just an introduction to the powers, to the way how the powers come uh, and embrace uh, a human person. You find out that there's a corpse, corpse of them. I don't know how to say corpse. Corpse as in corporation. I think it's core that you say it in English. I'm not sure. Um, uh, and that's pretty much much it. You see a, uh, um, a silhouette of the big bad guy, but not much more than that. You'll have to continue reading to understand how powerful he is, what are his intents, uh, why does he want to destroy Earth, and etc. And what are these alien entities that have given these powers? So there is a lot to be unveiled still in this series. So it's it's a quite a exciting uh, title for superhero genre. It does have some different vibe to it. Uh, it's a fresh vibe. Um, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I think the the artwork is is very good. So that's not. There's not much more not to like here. And there's a big twist that I didn't even mention here. Uh, you won't see it coming, um, but it was a courageous uh, thing to do uh, uh, as a writer. But yeah, I, I won't tell you about that because it will ruin the experience. So Radiant Black, uh, this new series, this new superhero series, uh, the perfect superhero comic for anyone missing Invincible, says Robert Kirkman, the creator of Invincible. So is the one recognizing the, the resemblance. So uh, classic superhero greatness remade brightly and brilliantly for a new generation. That's Scott Snyder's words. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So if you if you feel like uh, 
you want uh, a superhero book that's not Marvel or DC because they're getting too convoluted or something and you want to pick up a new superhero uh, from its origin then Radiant Black is a great great choice uh, for you so having said that uh, I'll greet you with the usual stuff so have excellent reads uh, stay safe and happy and until the next video don't forget to like the video if you like these reviews and live throughs that's the only way we know if it's worthwhile continuing doing them if you're enjoying them then it is uh, because this is for you not for me uh, we want to spread uh, the love for comics <laughs> Uh, through the community and give you a chance if you already are a comic lover to see uh, take a peek to into some books that you might not find at a common library you might not ha have a comic book shop near you so it's a way that you get to to look into into the book and and know a little bit about it i try not to spoil too much sometimes i do sorry about that so, if you want to buy this or many, many, many other books, just go to deviantfun.biz and there you go, easy, easy as that. You don't even have to register, you can buy anonymously, pay with a lot of uh, uh, payment methods, different payment methods. Uh, you'll have a 5% discount voucher if it's your first purchase, so uh, don't forget to use it, it's called First Visit, it will be suggested in the checkout panel so use it uh, and if you want to you can also follow us on Instagram and YouTube and, 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 and Facebook I meant uh, where we post some uh, other stuff than, than books uh, but yeah mainly the arrivals and but also news related to comics and the industry and etc because we're very interested on that also the industry itself and how how it's going through a complicated uh, phase. Uh, yeah, so pay us a visit. Uh, we'd like to hear from you. And with that, I conclude the video. So thank you very much for watching. And Deviant Fun is out in three, two, one. Bye bye.